No. Oh, look so. Look at this. Lady, come on. You can have some afterwards. Here. Let's see what it is. So, we're out here today. We've been working most of the day. We're cooking up some dinner. Some din din. And, uh, I know people probably don't use this spade and a knife for bushcraft, but I like multitasking. So today, we're out here. We're going to cook up some titers. We've got some fresh mushrooms and some broccoli. Which, I'm big on the broccoli. I like broccoli a lot. Um, spent a good majority of the day taking care of the firewood, you know, plenty of firewood to mess with, things like that. You may notice something different behind me. I found something to take care of the issue with the wall. It kind of, it's wind resistant now for good. I'll tell you that much right now. Um, the whole idea is to be able to do the stuff like this and not really spend a ton of money. You know? And it's just to, like, building this, I did not spend a lot of money. Actually, I don't, if I would have been able to figure out a way to do the roof without using plywood, I wouldn't have spent any money because most of the stuff we already had. And stuff like that. Cutting up my mushroom here, debating on how much I'm going to want. We did uh, go ahead and get us a New York strip. We've got broccoli to go with it, so this is going to be a pretty good meal. And Lady has Alpo as usual, because Lady likes Alpo. And she'll enjoy some of the steak with me as well. But we're starting to get stuff ready. Um, I'm not sure exactly on the time right now. Per se, I don't remember. I don't have a clock close nearby or anything like that. My phone's somewhere around here, but I was watching another bushcraft show a minute ago just to, uh, I don't know. Seems kind of funny to be playing bushcraft and watching bushcraft. So, I know, I don't judge. So, we've got our broccoli and we got tomatoes. I mean, uh, potatoes and some mushrooms. I'm a pepper type of person. I like to throw peppers in just about everything I cook. And, uh, here in just a second, I'll give you a little tour of everything we did today. We actually have it relatively looking nice in here. We don't need a lot of peppers, just a few. A few. In your lips there it's you don't get nothing until it's cooked so get that nose going out of here because I'm gonna hide everything from you so you can't get to it it's in a plastic bag so you can't get to it um, we worked relatively hard we got lady a bed set up in here and I've got a cot here which I honestly believe that it's going to break on me tonight. I think I do not think it is up for the challenge of my weight. Which is not anything too terribly surprising. I'm a relatively large person. We have to get some salt, some spice real quick in the kitchen over here. Now, I use this spice for everything. It's a UW Provisions. It's a Garmin steak sauce. I love the way it tastes. I kind of put it on everything. So, we're going to put this in my little container. Throw this on the stove with some butter in it. And a little bit of water and go from there. Now, this is an interesting little pot. Uh, unfortunately, I do not remember the maker, but 
I think I picked it up at Walmart. I mean, I'm not 100% sure that I got it at Walmart, but I think I did. Now, I don't know how well cooking on the stove is going to work, to be perfectly honest with you guys. It's not a very big stove. So, it may not work. It may work. I don't know yet. Don't forget butter. Gotta have butter. Now, um, my last video that you guys probably saw nothing but darkness <laughs> because the lighting in my cabin sucks. I have that fixed, which I'm hoping it looks pretty good now. I'm towards the background. I may be all lit up in light for all I know. So, we're going to test this idea. Now I will tell you one thing, the only thing that I did not like about this set, and I don't know 100% where the lid is, but the lid is plastic. And I thought that was really stupid of the makers to put a plastic lid on something you are going to be putting over a fire. So I'm going to go ahead and throw this on the fire, get that going. I'll catch back up with you guys in just a little bit. So we are back. Um, I'm not going to bore you guys with how I cook a steak or anything like that. Just kind of showing you around. A little pot on the stove. There's Ladybird's bed. And my little cot thingy that I'm really betting is going to break. And then see, we put the stuff up on the wall. It's a vinyl. And it, it will block all wind. It will block all wind. Still got my nice little shiny insulation, and that's covering a window, keeping the sun out of my eyes. Stove still kicking. Lady trying to steal my steak when I'm not looking. Look how guilty she looks. She knows she's guilty. She knows what she did. All right. But the steak is looking good with some true. Look at that. Ooh. Fuck. The messed up thing is that that's on low weight too, just like that. And all it really is is one of the little propane gas burners. The stove just wasn't putting out enough heat to make it do anything. And then there, there's the steak. Probably a little well done more than I like. But if I don't like it 100%, lady will love it. Because, I mean, look, she is just sitting there waiting. She's dying. She's like, give me the food. Let's get my little fireweed, dude. A lot of way of down that firewood. The whole box is full of firewood. So I think we'll be good today. See, I told you the lighting was better. Get up here and lay down. You're, you're in my shot. Get up there and lay down. Lay down. Good girl. Ladies wanting to be on the camera now. Let's get her turned around so everybody can see her. So, we're out in the cabin tonight. Lady's got her bed set up. I've got this, uh, want to be caught that I think is going to break into pieces this video this part of this video is I'm just kind of giving a shout out for all everyone else who does bushcraft what kind of knives do you have you know what's your favorite axe what's your favorite knife you know, go to that ordeal now me personally I am NOT a person who spends a lot of money on certain things um, knives I look for a knife that works not a knife that has a brand name on it um, there are certain brands I like and I do use a couple different knives when I'm doing my stuff will you sit down go lay down go on go lay down go to your bed go on go on good girl lay down Lay down. 
Okay. Now, <laughs> lady just wants to be a part of the video. Uh, my little axe. Why don't you get up here if that's what you're after? Just get up there. I don't care. Just lay down. Relax. Lay down. This is my little axe. I will carry this thing everywhere. It gets beat up. Uh, to be perfectly honest with you, I think it was a $15 axe, and it's, um, God, I can't even remember who makes it, it's ever something, what does it say, I can't read it anymore, I think it says Finland, Finland, yeah, Finland, I don't know if that's the name brand or not, but, uh, it's a really nice axe. It does not have a wood handle. But I use this for processing the firewood for my little bitty stove. This thing does fantastic on chopping wood. Uh, it holds a blade really well. I mean, it stays sharp for a very long time. And I mean, I have other axes as well. I have the boy size axe, and then I have a full size axe. Um, be perfectly honest with you, both of those axes are made by the same company and they're relatively cheap ha cheap axes. Uh, I don't think I paid more than 20 or so dollars per thing. Now, knives. I started out with this one first. It is a very nice knife. My only issue is, I thought the blade was really small. It is, uh... Yeah, browning. All in all, if you see this knife, it's almost at every store. This is a very nice knife to have. I've done lots of stuff with it. It holds a good blade. And the sheath that comes with it is really durable. It's a hardened plastic. And it even comes with a little flint stick, which I thought was awesome. So, um... This has been a really good knife. I like the fact that it's a full tang. And I like the fact that it has the piece that hangs out here. So you can use this for different stuff or you can hit on it. Um, not much for batoning. It's kind of small. And you can't really baton anything big. But I use it for a lot of carving. I use it for my cooking and stuff like that. Very nice knife. I like the little piece that goes over it to hold it in place. Now, my other knife that I use for what I call my bushcraft stuff, unfortunately it's a monster. But I like having the bigger knife. It will split firewood good. Um, it sharpens up nicely. And push comes to shove, you can use this when you don't have an axe. This will hack through a tree. Um, the sheath is nothing really major that comes with it. I wish it was nicer. I may contact someone about having a better one made. I'm not a big fan of snaps. Because for one, half the time I can't get the damn thing to snap. Now, um, it's a very nice knife. It works for everything. You can use it for batoning and everything else. It does a fantastic job. And it is the one that I carry. This is what I carry when I go into the woods. And it's a good all round bout knife. Now, the two things, those are the two things I usually don't go anywhere without. Is I do like to have my little axe with me because it's very multiple. You can do it for multiple things. The only thing that gets me when it comes to the axes, and I've saw seen many people do this, and I don't do it because I'm a little, I'm more, it worries me, is people use these things for hammers. And I'll see them going like this. And it just makes me, knowing my luck, I'd hit myself in the head or something like that. So I don't use it for a hammer. If I need a hammer, I usually have one. And, uh, I mean, it's not an expensive axe, but it's a nice axe. It does the job very well. 
so it's um, 7:10. We're out here at our cabin, and we had some issues with the cabin where a lot of wind was coming through this wall, and it seemed like no matter what I did, I couldn't stop it. Now, most of my cabin I built with little or to no money. I didn't really want to spend a ton of money on it. You know, I wanted to see how much, what could I build, you know, for the least amount of money. And, I mean, all in all, it came out rather well. It does not leak. But, for some reason, on this wall, when I was building it, it leaned. Now, I built this all pretty much with, uh, scrap timber I had a few big trees go down in the uh, storms we had here I was bucking them up and I thought you know what why don't we try doing something else that's how this whole idea started now to fix a lot of the air issues like this is a reflector I thought it would kind of help with the lighting in the cabin maybe it would reflect light but I had to go with a rather, you know, that's a very bright light sitting over there to light up the cabin just so I could do a video. I did a video before, you couldn't see me. Now, what's behind me here, this is like a vinyl. And I got four sheets from a friend of mine, and he was just going to throw them out. And I thought, you know what, they're almost the right size. I'm just going to see what happens. And as of now, let's see, temperature-wise, I do not believe it is really that cold. Let's see here. We are teetering at... Yeah, we're looking at 46 degrees right now. It is weird that it is almost Christmas and it's 46 degrees. But as the night goes on, looks like the coldest is going to be about 34 or 35. I think with this, our stove and everything, I think we'll be fine. Um, we got Lady of Bed over there, but for some reason she wants to be up here. Now, today was a busy day. I did pretty much all this behind me. And then... Uh, I got this area cleaned up the best I could, got her bed, you know, which is one of my old sleeping bags. And we chopped a good amount of firewood today because I wanted to really see, you know, how warm can I get it inside the cabin? You know, is this a, a structure that will do what you need it to do? Um, as my channel here grows, I do intend on doing a bigger cabin build. I'm thinking a 20 by 20. But I'm looking for the right property for it because I want to do everything and use everything from the property. So, it may take some time. Now, all in all, everything here is pretty cozy. Um, I do believe tomorrow we're going to get rid of this cot. And we're just going to build this a bush bed. Because I don't think this cot is going to work in here. I think what's going to end up happening in the middle of the night is I'm going to end up falling on the ground. I am a rather large person. I'm not your average sized person. But all in all, I mean, it is relatively very comfortable in here. The fire's not screaming going or anything like that, but it is relatively comfortable. I think we'll sleep pretty well good the whole night so we're gonna do some more building tomorrow which it seems like I'm never done building out here I'm always building something and I ought to start videotaping more of my build and stuff like that but I never do I always say I am but I don't so we're gonna kind of relax for a little bit and kind of go through get certain things ready for the morning like I like to have my coffee ready and I, I may brew me up some tea here in a little bit and throughout the night, I'll check back in with you guys and let you know how it's doing in here and how everything's working. 
and we'll see each other in the morning one way or another. You guys have a good. I'll catch back up with you in a little while. I've never heard my dog. She snores so goddamn loud all the time. Just loud, loud, loud. The stove's doing good. It's really nice and toasty in here. Um, as I said, the bed didn't make it. I don't know how well you can see it. It's right there against the door. It didn't make it, but it is what it is. All right, I'm going to lay back down. I'll see you guys later. We got our stuff put up, put our food and stuff in buckets, plastic containers. That way I don't have to worry about anything, and yes, I carry firearms. Oh. Lady's enjoying her little bed.